for tuning back in to the Flying Life channel. I've had my eye on this one for a little while. It's uh, previously just got released, and this was courtesy of GearBest.com. So as always, I will leave a description down below where you can pick this one up. Um, as you can see, if you are familiar with the multi-rotor world, um, this is a bit of a clone. So um, we're going to definitely take a look at this one and see if we can get into setup and uh, kind of have a general unboxing and inspection. This is going to be the first video, and in the second video, we will show a full review of this, how it does fly, line of sight, and some FPV footage as well, obviously, as you can see, as an FPV flyer. So this is actually called the Awesome, which is the brand. It's actually called Awesome uh, UBXV 130. So again, this is a clone of a very popular quadcopter. Um, if you don't know it, um, do a little bit of research. Um, but uh, this is um, kind of their their version of this that quadcopter. So. By all means, they did, uh, you know, take some of that design, but hopefully they implemented it well. This thing is a really awesome price point. Um, right now on GearBest, you know, I think it's right around 180 bucks, and they've been having flash set sales uh, over the past few days. So check it out. Again, description, uh, we'll have a link so you can see what the updated price is for this uh, Yubi. Uh, awesome. So <laughs> kind of a unique um brand i've never heard of this brand before so let's go ahead and pop this uh, little box open as you can see it's a really small little setup and see what we get inside so we've got a little bag of goodies here that comes with so this is really nice um it, it is receiver ready so this isn't bind and fly this is not a ready to fly package this is going to be receiver ready uh, or pnp so you're going to be able to uh, add your own receiver for your transmitter uh, which is nice. It kind of gives you some flexibility. So you will need to have some uh, some knowledge on that. So it looks like we do get a little bit of a battery strap here. And then we do have a uh, just a little tiny uh, dipole antenna, which is pretty unique. And then you can see here it is a, hopefully that can focus for us, that is a uh, male um, antenna. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. So you're going to have both S bus and PPM connections, so you can connect that right to your receiver of your choice. So that's really nice if you want to hook it up that way. That's probably going to be the cleanest, easiest uh, way to kind of connect that. And that is the way that I'm um, hoping to connect it. So I uh, did a little bit of research uh, on some receivers to try to find one small enough that I can actually just hook this right up. Uh, to the single port to try to make it easy. So I'll show you the receiver I use once I get it. Um, hopefully it'll work. So that's nice. They give you those uh, right out of the box. You've got two full sets of spare props, which is really nice. And they're all white, so uh, no color variation for orientation. Um, but nonetheless, uh, two full sets of props, so that, that is nice. Of course, they're going to be counterclockwise and counter and clockwise uh, propellers. Um, you do get a little manual in here, so you do have Chinese on one side and English on the other. I did find that the English on this side is pretty nice. Um, it's probably one of the better uh, layouts, kind of explaining our flight controller, our board, uh, kind of our inputs there uh, pretty nicely and just kind of a little bit about the quadcopter. So this does run 1306 motors uh, as 3600 kVs uh, without the battery it's about 115 grams which I did weigh that I'll show you on the scale um, and then obviously uh, wing length here it's saying uh, 75 millimeter and again the brand name is the X or the model is the XV130 um, that is going to use uh, of course 5.8 gigahertz uh, transmission which is uh, uh, apparently changeable so you can change it for where you're going to be flying to from 25 um, all the way up to 400 which is pretty interesting um, and then another thing as well is that this is actually supposed to design to uh, be able to withstand two to four cell four cell which is really awesome um, capability because you do have a, a BL Heli uh, 20 amp ESC um, so we'll take a look at that on how how exactly that's set up it's pretty unique well 
let's say not say unique because let's be honest, someone already did this first, but um, that's pretty nice uh, that they have that set up that way. And then uh, again, a CMOS camera, that's a 600 TVL uh, camera. So not a CC3D, but uh, again, most people aren't using those cameras um, just yet because the CMOSs are so inexpensive. Um, but let's go ahead and pull this foam out and take a look at the quadcopter. So it comes in that box. There's three different colors that are available. Um, you can do either gray, black, or white. Um, pretty uh, awesome little design. Again, um, not exactly um, <laughs> not exactly a original design by any means as you can see um, fits right in the palm of your hand very very lightweight really nice uh, little setup here at a really awesome price point so again taking a look at those motors here see if we can get this to focus for you um, it's got the awesome branding on there uh, but again, 1306, 3600 KV is what they're labeled, um, just by an aw by the awesome brand. So, um, just a, a self-labeled. Um, uh, well, there we go. Self-labeled uh, motor on those. So, pretty interesting um, that they put those that size motor on there. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the sizing of this. We've got our five millimeter motor shafts. Pretty straightforward. And then let's take a look at this carbon fiber. I have a feeling it's uh, a little bit thinner than the original design of this uh, quadcopter, which it is. It looks like it's right about, let's see if we can get a better angle here, right about two millimeters. Um, so pretty good thickness on there. Um, it's definitely going to keep down the weight. Um, but if you're taking really, really hard crashes, you might want to be a little concerned. But um, it's, it seems pretty rigid and pretty sturdy. I don't see this really having too much damage by any means. Um, you do have, of course, your little FPV camera inside, which is sit, sitting on a mount that is not movable. And that is a supposedly a 25 degree mount. So you do have some, you do have some pitch on that. Um, so if you wanted to do some forward flight, you can't get too, too aggressive, um, but you can get pretty aggressive with it to be able to fly pretty nicely. You do have the carbon fiber you can see is milled out to uh, hold the wiring. Again, not an original design, but an awesome design nonetheless um, that they run those motor wires to have a really clean, um, sleek design to this. Um, you can see here we've got our our 5.8 gigahertz uh, connection for our antenna and, and you do have your battery port here on the back which is actually an EC30 connector so quite interesting that you use an EC30 connector um, but you can see here in this little bag of goodies get back to it here um, you also get an EC30 to XT60 adapter. I think just recognizing that the fact that most people are using the JST connectors uh, with the LiPo batteries, um, if you do have ones with the EC30s, these little tiny baby EC30s, um, you can use those, um, but this is going to be giving you a nice adapter and give you a little bit of length too so that you can strap that uh, right to the bottom here. It does look like you probably are going to run the uh, battery strap through the inside here, and then I would probably recommend putting a little piece of uh, anti-skid, uh, maybe double-sided or a little rubber or something right there to help the battery from sliding around as well. So really cool uh, looking little quadcopter. Again, not unique. I don't want to uh, give all the credit to this company on this design, um, but it is an awesome uh, little setup. So um, the top canopy is only held by these two little these little Allen screws. So let's go ahead and pull these off and take a look at what's inside. And I'll speed this part up. All right. So now that we've got those off, um, you do have these little kind of plastic things on the bottom that kind of cover the the base of the wire, which is pretty nice. And then I found that the easiest way to take this off is to actually kind of do the rear first, like so and then just pull it right off. Um, sometimes you'll have to squeeze it a little bit when I put them back on. When I put it back on, I typically put the rear back on first and then just squeeze this so that you get a little bit of flex to get around that FPV camera on the front. So taking a look at the inside of this, really, really clean, 
um, setup here on the inside. You can see our uh, FPV camera is mounted very nicely there on the inside. Uh, on the side here, we are going to have our receiver port um, so that you can hook up your, your own receiver, which is very nice. On the top of the uh, flight controller, so this is going to be your uh, flight controller along with your uh, 5.8 gigahertz uh, transmission is going to be automatically set uh, right right up to that. So you do want to be a little bit careful if you crash this the wrong way, you might end up damaging this whole thing. So that's a little bit of a downer on this is not kind of its separate uh, own piece. It is connected to this entire board. So if you damage that, um, you potentially can damage the whole board, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, but nonetheless, still a very nice design. You can change your uh, your channel selection right here for your FPV transmission, uh, which it is supposed to have 40 channels. So that is pretty nice. You can change that right there. And then on the side of the quadcopter, you're going to see we've got our micro USB uh, connector right here. And then our two ports for UART 1 and 2. Um, so very, very nice. Very clean. Uh, everything looks pretty nicely tucked inside of there. Um, just a nice, clean setup so again not an original design by any means um but very very nice and it just looks it just looks so sharp looks very well done it's very lightweight everything is so clean it's got a lot of positives going with this so far i really like the setup on this um so this is this is one that is definitely getting very popular a lot of people are really excited about the micro fpv indoor flyers and then flying them outdoors this gives you a really nice brushless option so that if you really want to do some racing do some really tight um you know tight courses and and getting into some really small spaces this is just incredible um i did previously do a uh, review on the JJRC JJ Pro P130, um, which is this guy here. And just to show you, I mean, this is a small quadcopter, which had its downfalls. There's there's definitely some some uh, design flaws that, that, that was kind of made this lackluster. Um, but this guy here is just such a small, tiny little quadcopter that offers so much power. Um, well, at least on paper it does. So we'll definitely take a look at that. This quadcopter is also uh, going to be pre-flashed with clean flight, so you should be able to hook it right up and get in there and start tuning if you need to. But we definitely will take a look to see how it is set up uh, via you know stock from the factory and see how it flies in those regards. But it'll be very interesting to see how this F3 flight controller um, you know works with this little quadcopter and how this thing flies. So I'm really super excited uh, to get this one up in the air. Um, I've got a Lemon RX um, receiver um, that I will be getting for this. I'm hoping that will fit so that I can just hook up right, right into the PPM um, uh, connection for uh, my Spectrum DX6E. So hopefully we can get that all set up for you and get this thing up into the air sooner than later. Um, but um, that's going to be kind of a, just a quick uh, look at this, kind of an unboxing showing you what you get, how this compares um, to you know the other quadcopter that um, this is basically designed after um, but giving you a really nice little value package here so again I want to say thanks to Gearbest for sending this to us for review super excited to get this thing in the air as always if you guys have any questions let me know hit me up in the comments I will try to answer them if I can uh, I'm not an expert but I'm learning so learn with me on this and uh, we can get these things figured out and as always, like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe. And otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. Happy flying life.